Greetings, my fellow unicorns. I'm Jolene. Welcome to Jolene Sparkles. I uh, had a little bit of a rough start again uh, for some reason. Uh, well, I forgot to reboot um, before I started the stream, and there's this weird issue where if I've had my computer running for a couple days, and I, I'm always doing a bunch of crap on, my well, on this computer, uh, playing a bunch of different games, playing around with some rendering and all that kind of fun stuff, and uh, I've actually been playing around with some uh, Chia uh, coin mining, so that kind of... Um, that might have also caused a little bit of an issue, but uh, we're just going to ignore that, and hey, whatever, it messed up, and we're just going to move past it. So, today, I'm going to be doing something new. I'm going to try out a new game. Uh, it's Cryofall. Um, so, it, I mean, I played this, I've been playing this game on and off for, you know, the past, like, week or two. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to try something different for the stream. So, instead of the usual where I'm going to, like, start the game and go all the way through it from beginning to end... This one, I'm going to start on a brand new server because I already have something established. I'm going to start on a brand new server, and then um, we'll, we're going to work through kind of the beginnings of the game and show you the, you know, the kind of process and stuff. And then after that, um, uh, we'll kind of switch over to my main game where I have the, you know, the technology a little bit more advanced. Um, that allows us to skip some of the middle, like, kind of really annoying crap. Um, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. So uh, here, let me uh, switch over to the, uh, I don't know if you can actually hear that or not. That should be right. Um, I guess we'll find out. But how is everybody doing tonight? I hope that you are having an amazing night. Um, for me, it's a, you know, a little rush to get everything going. <laughs> All right. Um, come on, you can do it, Streamlabs. Let's go. Oh, come on, Streamlabs. This is not that hard. Uh, okay, well, uh, Streamlabs is giving me some trouble, like, across the board tonight, so, um, yeah. Give me a second, let me, uh, try to change these settings again. Uh, I don't know why it's still looking for Factorio, but let's try this, let's change those settings over to that. And, uh, come on, you can do it, come on, let's go. Oh my god, you, you gotta be kidding me tonight. <laughs> What is wrong with you? Like, no, not you. Peanut gallery in the background is saying like, what, me? No, not you. Um, huh, well, this is interesting. Uh, for some reason, even though the game is running, I'm sure you can kind of hear it. I'm actually gonna lower the volume on that just a little bit. There we go. Uh, for some reason, this is, um, hmm. Let's try changing it to that. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know why this is weird. I have, you know, it's funny because all these other games that I've streamed, I've never had an issue with this. This is weird. Um, okay, sorry. I, I apologize for that. Um, give me a second. Let me see if uh, this works. Does that work? Oh, there we go. I think that was it. I don't know why. I don't know. Whatever. Um, <laughs> Streamlabs, I, I got to say, you know, maybe I should just try going back to, to OBS and see if that works better. Because Streamlabs, like, there are days that it works and there are some days it just decides, eh, you know, I don't feel like working. All right. Anyway, so let's just take a deep breath and... Move past that. Let's get right into the game. Deet, 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 deet. Yep, there we go. So you can see here are the two servers I've been playing around on. PVE2 was the first server that I started on, but like it completely blew up because they have an eight hour demo in this game. I think it's still an eight hour demo. Uh, unfortunately, because I already purchased the game, I can't really see that uh, through here. But let me see if I go to the community, uh, or wait, it's the store page actually. Uh, let's see, store page is showing that um, it won't tell me. Great, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Well, let's use. Sorry, yes, it does have a demo in there. You know, I should have looked at this beforehand. Oh well. Anyway, so yes, there is a. Oh, I gotta fix this cable. This is driving me crazy. There we go. Uh, so yeah, this was an eight-hour demo. Uh, so I signed up, played the game for a little bit, and um, uh, then it just. Be the next day I logged in, it, it was just completely full, and I had to. Uh, it said that there was a new server that. You know, opened up, so they 
Switch me over to PvE 4. That's the one I've been playing on. I have not tried PvP yet. Um, but you know what? Let's start this on PvP. And it's going to be a bad idea. And that's why we're going to do it. Um, I, to be honest with you, I'm probably not going to end up playing on PvP server. Um, you know, I don't know. Or wait, do we want to do PvE or PvP? I don't know. Because to be honest with you... I might not. You know what? This one was just wiped four days ago, so cool. We're going to do this. We're going to do uh, Cryo Small North America. Um, playing a PvP on a stream is probably a bad idea, but to be honest with you, we're probably going to switch to PvE a little bit later. Uh, so this wipes every three weeks, so not much of a risk, but here we go. Let's go ahead and join that. This game is a little bit of a mix of, um, of uh, Faster Than Light... I don't know why, but there's a faster and light kind of aspect to it. It's got a little bit of RimWorld, very RimWorld kind of style graphics. Um, it's multiplayer, so it's a little bit different. Um, some of the other, other people were saying uh, Don't Starve, I think, um, but I have not personally played that game. I do want to check that game out. Um, so, yeah, um, let's see. Uh, team limit, two players max. No alliances allowed. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. Well, I guess I can maybe uh, convince... Uh, uh, Brittany to come along with me on this one, maybe, we'll see. No bully bullying, no race, no whatever that is right here, the, the stars, I don't know. No racism, homophobia, harassment, yes, thank you. I'm glad that they have all that crap in here. Uh, we're not going to do any of that, you know, so we're just going to kind of, um, we're going to roll with it. Probably going to die, who cares? Obviously picking female. Um, this is the kind of hairstyle that I went with last time, so we're just going to keep with that probably. And no, we're not going to go with the Karen haircut. Um, <laughs> uh, we are going to do pink, because let's face it, I have pink hair. I just wanted to see if there was anything else. I mean, we could do blue, but I don't have blue hair, so we're going to do pink. Uh, that face is definitely not me. Um, let's see, what is the ugliest face on here? No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> let's see, top. I, so I love those arches. I love the big... Like, I call it the drag arch. Like, I love those big, fierce arches, so we're going to leave that in place. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do with my uh, brows. Last time I got my brows done, uh, they did not do such a good job. So, you know, whatever. Uh, lips, let's see. I definitely like those, those bigger, like, kind of drag. Yes, I love drag queens. Deal with it. So, like, I love to... I actually do dress in drag occasionally, but it's like, you know... It's more about just going really big with the wig and, you know, doing really crazy eyebrows and really crazy makeup and that kind of stuff. This is my normal, like, going out kind of makeup. Maybe one day I'll dress as a clown for the show. You never know. Anyway, all right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick this character. Um, for the actual, um, let's see here, which origin do we want to go with? So Galact Galactic Empire is max uh, plus 10 stamina or plus 10 maximum stamina, plus 10 maximum food, which is nice because food is a pain in the ass in this game. Uh, max water 10, farming task speed 25%. Not bad, not gonna read through the whole description of them because it doesn't really matter. I'm only looking purely at the stats. I mean, if you wanna do some role playing, go for it, but uh, I'm just looking at the stats to be honest with you. This is health regeneration plus 15%, amazing for PVP. So that, that so far we're looking at this one. Forging speed, 25%. That's kind of nice. We do a lot of forging. Uh, tinker table effectiveness, 10%. So far, I've not done any tinkering, but I've heard a lot of people in the chat say it's useless. Don't even worry about it. Fishing knowledge, uh, plus 10. Eh, you know. For, for a server that wipes in three weeks, might be useful. Mining, steam, uh, mining speed, 10%. Wood cutting, 20%. That's kind of nice. Uh, building deconstruction speed, 10%. Kind of nice. Hunger rate, 15%, so you get hungry faster. This was not a good one. This is, trust me, because, you know, food, you have to constantly, constantly get food in this game. It's a pain in the ass. Uh, maximum stand, 10%, uh, you know, 15% searching speed, uh, blah, 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 blah. You know what, we're going to go with these guys, because that health regeneration, I think, is super, super nice. So we're going to go with the independent worlds. Oh my god, look at how badass my little shirt is. Oh my god, that is great. Especially because this weekend, uh, me and Brittany went out and I bought a um, 
I bought a purse that looks like a skull and it's purple. <gasps> oh my god, it's so amazing! Maybe I'll show it off on the stream sometime. So now we're in the world. Um, so you can see we have two hours of newbie protection. So we um, we want to take full advantage of that. We don't want to get into any uh, PvP combat this early on because we'll just die repeatedly and then that would be the end of it. Kind of gives you, the game is not very intuitive at first. You're kind of like, all right, what's going on here? What am I supposed to do? So you can see that now it's saying, just follow this guy in the upper right hand corner. This will guide you to where you should go next, what you should do next. It will give you your rewards that you need for that next stage. It'll help you with your research and stuff. So we need to collect fibers, twigs, and stone. Yes, when it becomes nighttime in this game, it is dark. We want to stay away from these wolves because trust me, this early on we have no weapons. They will mess us up really quickly. We do have a, um, a torch, so we will utilize that. We're going to stay away from those pigs. They will charge you and they will hurt. Um, so let's see, we, yeah, so we do need to collect some stones. So we're going to just, you just right click on it. Pretty easy. You can see this is somebody's base right here. Picking up some twigs here. That is the uh, fibers. So you can see the stones right here. These are twigs. And then this is a, I think these are, uh, these are red herbs. And if you pick something up and you're not sure what it is, you could just hover over it here and it'll show you really quickly. Or you hit tab, you go to your inventory, and you can see the item you just picked up. You don't want to take these raw because it will, uh, it'll give you a little bit of an energy, energy rush, but it'll, you'll also take a little bit of damage. So let's go ahead and continue picking up all these things that we need. We need some more twigs. And there we go. We've completed that one. So you just click on it. See, so it kind of pops up, but hey, gather resources, you can claim it. You get 15 LP. Those are learning points. Those are part of your, like, your research, your tech, that kind of thing. Learning points is, uh, I'm not going to lie, it's the stupidest name ever. Uh, it's like, I almost feel like I'm playing one of those mobile games when I see something like learning points. Eh, whatever. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and claim that, and then you can see what our next step is. We need to craft a rope. We need to craft a stone axe. Now, this is the part of the game that kind of drives me crazy because it's like, all right, well, it gives you no instruction on how to do that. So, um, so for some, you know, coming initially into this game, it's a little bit like you don't know what's quite going on. So that's kind of why I wanted to do this. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, grab this. This is going to be some sugar. Sugar is something you can eat right away and use it as food. Um, but it's better off if you use it in combination with some other things that we're going to get later, and I'll show you those recipe. Water bulb fruit, it's good for a couple of different things. It gives you a little bit of water, and you can actually kind of see the stats in that. It gives you four water, and uh, water, once we get a collector, it's kind of easy to deal with. So we're going to hit C. We're going to bring up our, our, um, our craft menu. We need to craft some rope. It's a little bit unintuitive at first. Um, you know, uh, I've seen some people have a little bit of issues with like, wait, I, I need to create this axe, but why can't I create it? You know, or when this menu first comes up, like it's you're not really sure what the heck is going on here. I don't like this UI. Um, so, but anyway, so we have to create some rope first. So we can go ahead and click craft, and you can see it's crafting over there on the left-hand side. Now we can create our, um, our axe. Even though it doesn't want us to do this yet, I am going to recommend that you create a stone knife right off the bat. Because you need that for if you get into combat with any uh, wild animals. Because trust me, they will hurt. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of drop that in my four column. No idea why I use four, I just do. It doesn't really make any sense, but hey, what about me does? Um, so stone pickaxe is going to be another thing we're going to want to do. So let's just go ahead and craft another rope. Now you might be noticing that I am skipping ahead a little bit, but that's only because these are things that I know we're going to need. The great thing about this game is that it keeps track of where you were with things that you need to do. So later on, if you've already encountered a particular animal that it wants you to encounter, it already knows that you have encountered them. And the way you find out about that is you go to this completionist tab. These are all the different like fish you want, you have to come across, all the different styles of food, all the creatures, all the loot. And the great thing is that each time you encounter one of these, you get a couple learning points. I think it's like 10 learning points, give or take. So let's go ahead and claim this one, this 15 learning points. Now it wants us to chop down a tree. 
Cool, easy enough. We already have our axe. So we're gonna go ahead and equip the axe. Unfortunately, it gets really dark really fast. Just left click on it. You can see that it's now chopping down the tree. <laughs> we got chopped down three of them. I know there was an animal up there, so we're gonna kind of stay away from that. And I can also see, even though it's kind of dark, I can see there's a little bush here. So we're gonna go grab that too, cause that's gonna be some food. And this food right here, we'll eventually get a recipe that we can create a, a better food item out of, but we need three of these. And then we need, I think five or 10 sugars. I don't remember exactly how many, but let's go ahead and chop down one more tree. That should give us, I think about five wood. There we go. So let's go ahead and uh, grab that. And uh, okay, so we got two more things that we need to do. Uh, we need to craft a pickaxe and simple tools. Easy enough. I think we might even have some of the things we need ready to go for that. Um, so let's see here. We need to do the um, stone pickaxe because we've already done the, uh, or I'm sorry, this is the yeah, stone pickaxe, which is different from the stone axe. So you use stone axes for chopping down lumber, and then you use stone pickaxes for picking up minerals, including sand. If you use the wrong item on something, it will take damage. So be careful about that. This is one of those early on mistakes that I made. And now it also wants us to create a toolbox. But we need more stone in order to create that toolbox. So let's go ahead and just find some stone around here. We're gonna try to stay away from that snake. Snakes will poison you. Uh, and you know, with this health, it's not too bad, but you know, let's just try to avoid the animals as best as we can at this phase until we get a little bit of armor. Let's go ahead and craft that. And uh, once we turn this in, we'll turn these two in. That's when I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's see. We're gonna hit G to take a look at our, uh, our research. The research here is effectively, um, this is what you spend all of your learning points on. So you can see defense here, we got offense. I'm gonna do defense right off the bat because we need to get some armor. We absolutely need to get it. You can see we have 79 learning points right now. So you just uh, click on it and then we'll give you this menu. You know, do you wanna research this item? You could also tell it to not ask you this again. And that stays for this session. We're gonna go ahead and click that on because it's just annoying that popping up. I know what I need to get. Uh, cloth armor, we're gonna get that right off the bat. Um, we're not gonna spend any more learning points right now. Um, oh wait, crap, we need a workbench for this. Okay, so ignore everything I just said. <laughs> Skipping ahead sometimes can actually be a problem kind of forgot about that. I apologize, my mistake. Um, so we're gonna go back to following uh, what it wants us to do. <laughs> uh, you know, I should have actually gone through this process before I did the stream. That is my commitment for, uh, for the next couple of streams. I need to spend a little bit of time like preparing my streams a little bit better. Okay, so you see this tree right here? This is a rubber tree. It's got a slightly different color than the other trees and they are, rubber is very valuable. So I'm gonna suggest anytime you see these rubber trees, especially early on, go ahead and collect them. You see, we just collected some rubber. Uh, you're gonna need a lot of rubber later on for a lot of different things. So it's very good to, uh, to get it while you can, and especially when you know what the heck it is that you're looking for. I spent a lot of time like wandering around looking for um, for, uh, for rubber. Great thing about chickens is that they will run away from you. So we're just gonna go ahead and use our stone ax. It's gonna run up, kill that chicken. We're gonna get a little bit of meat out of that. Oh, sorry, we're gonna get eggs out of that. We're gonna be able to cook the eggs later. Now you can see that there's this little badge icon that popped up underneath completionists because we have just encountered a chicken for the first time. So we're gonna go ahead and hit accept See our progress went up a little bit and then we got eight learning points. Different things have different learning point levels. Like I, I don't know exactly what it is. You might've noticed that little bit of a jump. That's because it gave us a warning that the server was saving a snapshot. Apparently they don't have asynchronous snapshots in place and um, uh, they're doing some, I, I don't know how their architecture is. I did see something about Mongo engine. So I'm thinking they're using some kind of document store in the back end. 
Either way, you want to be careful when it gives you that warning. It's basically like, yeah, the, the server is going to kind of jolt for a second. So we're going to hit B because we need to create a campfire. That's the next part of our quest. But you can see we need a little bit more rock. So luckily, bang, there's one right there. Uh, cool thing about the, um, the campfire is that anybody else can use it um, if you leave it behind. Wait, why can I? Oh, sorry, we have to equip the toolbox in order to do that. So we're going to put this onto zero because that's not something that we uh, use all the time. But once you have it on your toolbar, you don't need to, um, you don't actually need to switch to it. You can see we currently have the stone knife enabled. I think the toolbox is a really stupid item, but eh, whatever, that's, that's the, what they do. They do break over time. You could tell that like this item right here, the durability has lowered. So you are going to be constantly rebuilding these items. Trust me, it gets hella annoying. And go ahead, gather some of these berries. Cool thing is we can relocate this. However, we don't have a land claim down. So once you place this campfire, there's nothing else you could do with it. Eventually it's just gonna expire and disappear until we have a land claim. But we're gonna left cl right click on this. You can see like it just brings you this interface. You're like, uh, what's going on here? We're going to just go ahead and uh, let's see, we're going to claim this because it's build the campfire. We've completed that. Uh, now it wants us to cook any food. It's going to want us to eat any food. Then there's a couple of other things that it wants us to do, like mine any material, mine some stone and visit a Rocky Mountain. We're going to do those next. We're going to first see what we can do about the recipes. Um, so you can see that uh, we have bottle of stale water. Don't drink the stale water, trust me, you're gonna regret it. You get the nausea, your character's like puking for three minutes and you can't eat or drink anything anymore. It just, it's not fun. Um, but you can create clean water and um, you get an empty bottle back. Uh, you can make bottles later. We'll get to that later. Um, okay, so let's see. What recipes do we have available? Well, one of the easy ways you could find out is just by dropping a couple things in here and if there is something that matches it, like over time, you'll start to remember what the recipes are. You can just say apply matching you know, recipe and it will start to try to cook it. However, we don't have fuel in there. You can either just take some of these wood logs, drop it directly in there. You can use twigs. I prefer to use the twigs early on. Um, and that's because when the fuel burns through, it will just burn through the fuel and if there is nothing else in here, it will burn down to the last one and then stop. When you use higher quality fuels, especially early on, you could end up wasting a lot of fuel. We're going to let that go ahead and cook. And we're going to go out and grab a little bit more wood. Because it gives us something to do while we're waiting. It's something we need to do anyway. You will notice that we got some learning points for that. We got one learning point. And, you know, you get learning points here and there. We're just doing random tasks, picking up items, mining, killing animals, that kind of stuff. Now let's go check the status set, see how it's doing. See, it's completed. We've also got some charcoal out of that. Charcoal is used for some recipes. Don't get rid of it. You'll also eventually get some ash. Don't get rid of that either. You're going to want that. So you can see we got some tasty roasted mushrooms and they have a seven food value. Food expires in this game too. You can make fridges and stuff later, but it does expire, so you want to kind of protect your food. One thing I don't like is how you consume products in this game. So you hold on the Alt key, and then you click on it, and then you use it. And you can see that we just, you know, we got a little bit of food value out of it. We'll do one more just to kind of top ourselves off. We've now completed this quest. So we completed it. Um, you can see that, like I said before, we had gathered the water bulb. And because we did gather that water bulb even before the quest, we already have one out of three. So we're like, we're almost there. So one of the things it wants us to do is use this one. So we're just going to Alt click on it. We've got the uh, stuff for that. We're going to take out our, um, actually, let's see. What other recipes can we do? Um, I guess we will do these other mushrooms. Um, you know, actually, let's hold off on those because we might there might be a different recipe for that later. So we're going to take our stuff out. Oh, I don't know what this is. I have not seen that before. That's on a different part of the map. 
So you can see on the map here, here are all the different like uh, resources. These are different players in the game have different uh, places that you can trade. So you basically, you know, there's this, these two different currencies. There's like basically gold and pennies. Weird system and like you'll, you'll randomly pick them up too. These are coffee beans. We're gonna, um, coffee beans you could uh, eat right away. It gives you a tiny bit of food. Um, I think it costs you water if I remember correctly. Wait, does it, oh no, it does give you a little bit of water. It's the coffee beans. Let's see, we got some seeds and other stuff. Um, you know, we got purple herbs. Uh, that gives us, it removes uh, radiation poisoning, which trust me, that becomes a big issue. It can remove toxins. Uh, but it's better when it's prepared. So we're not going to use this right now. We don't really need to. Go ahead and pick up some more of these things because I know that we're going to need them later. And so we are looking for some water, more water bulb fruit. And here's some more right here. Now we're at two, three. These turtles are going to run from us. Uh, interesting. So it says this base is under shield protection. Um, continue up to 30 hours um okay so you can't do any damage to it i don't know what shield protection is for the base i've not played that long on pvp so i don't know so it'll be interesting turtles run from you so you can just kind of run up and just splat them a few times and kill them you can see that little icon there meant that it was bleeding so didn't need to hit it for that last thing it just kind of bled out uh and you know there are some animals that it's easier just to let them kind of bleed out and, um, you know, rather than, you know, like, you'll see with the boars, like, I might do a little bit of damage to them once they start bleeding. I'll just kind of run in circles away from it um, because I don't want to, uh, you know, kind of waste the durability of my items, especially when you get ammo and stuff. So here's where we use the stone pickaxe. This is going to be sand. So you go ahead and click on that. Very easy to get the sand. And you can see that we've now got some cle completion stuff. We got it for the turtle. Got one of these, each of these for the fruit and the food. This is for consuming those food. So this is going to be one of the, uh, we have to mine this stone right here. So we're going to get a 1-3 there. Excellent. Hold down the shift key and you could run. And when I'm running around, I definitely try to click the, you know, the gather items because, uh, you know, you get those learning points and you need those in order to do your research. Now, because this is a PvP server, you do have to be careful about wandering onto somebody's land. Uh, you know, we're in PvP or, you know, newbie protection, so it's not that big of a deal, but you want to be careful. So we're going to try to stay away from that snake. There we go. We're able to evade the snake. So you can see we got another player here. Looks like they're also under protection, but we're going to, you know, not attack their walls or anything. There's no reason to do that. Plus, I think it would remove our newbie protection if we were to do that. Got a rubber tree here, so let's go ahead and grab that. Sorry, I keep looking over at my screen to kind of check the chat. By the way, I did order a new monitor. Um, it's probably, an, oop, we're gonna kind of run from this guy. If we can. Cool, we ran away, good. Um, there is some iron down there I kind of want to get, so maybe we'll, uh, maybe we do need to engage this guy a little bit. So you can see he does, you know, he's doing some damage to us. And, uh, yeah, so kill the wolf for a first time. You can see it kind of pops up that message. Uh, you know, we did have the severe pain. We took a little bit of damage. We are currently bleeding. This will last for 49 seconds. Um, I don't believe we have bandages yet. We don't have bandages. Uh, I don't think we can even make them. So, yeah, you want to be careful about the bleeding because, you know, you take a little bit of damage constantly. And um, health regens really slowly in this game. So, so this is iron. We don't need it right this second, but it's something we're going to need. But, yeah, I'm pretty excited about the new monitor. Uh, it won't be shipping till the end of the month. Uh, it's actually an Alienware. Um, I wouldn't normally buy Alienware products, but um, it's been really hard to find any kind of electronics right now. There's just a global chip shortage, and it's just 
oh my god, it's so difficult to find anything right now. So that's why I was like, I found something that was decent. Thank you, Audrey, so much for helping me find that. My girlfriend, Audrey, one of my girlfriends, Audrey, um, she helped me find that. And thank you so much. Love you, babe. Um, but yeah, I was looking for a monitor for a while, and so was she, and she pointed this one out, and it it was perfect. It, I mean, it wasn't exactly perfect. I wanted something that was a little bit closer to 4K, but it is higher resolution than 1440p. It's an ultra-wide. It's actually 38-inch. Currently using a 34-inch as my main ultra-wide, and interestingly, my main ultra-wide does not have HDR, so this is going to be exciting to finally have an HDR monitor. Um, I think it's an HDR 600. Anyway, at some point, I'll, I'll post the specs for it. All right, so you see we got the uh, water bulb fruit one. We can go ahead and clean that. Uh, for this next part, it wants us to visit Rocky Mountains. I don't know where we are on the map, really. I haven't explored the map a ton. I know my first game, I'm like over here-ish. So I don't know this area very well, but we're just going to have to explore a little bit to try to find the Rocky Mountain areas. We're going to continue to gather things along the way. There's an enemy behind there, but I don't know what it is. And unfortunately, it doesn't let us kind of detect them. Uh, looks like we have discovered the forging skill. And you can see your character's skills by clicking on this. As these skills go up, you get different things. So you can see at level 10, we have a chance of uh, getting additional yield. Every single time you forge for something, you can see the skill go up just a tiny bit. It's currently at 62. And there are only certain items that it counts for. So I think it's, yes, it counts for those. So that was, uh, let's see, does it count for twigs? It does not, does it count for, well, okay, foraging for rocks is not usually a human trait, but <laughs> let's see, does sugar count? Let's see, we're at 250. Does it count? It does, okay, so cool. So this is another reason why you just want to go around and collect all these items the best you can. Uh, so snails are going to be something that are going to run from you, but you could just get the learning points from that, plus killing them for the first time, that's always good. I mean, you shouldn't do it in real life. Don't kill slugs. They did nothing to you in real life. Uh, crabs are a little bit aggressive. We do want to stay away from them because of our health. Got a nice little um, rubber tree, so we're going to go ahead and grab that. 40 minutes into our um, newbie protection, so we want to uh, be careful not to waste that. Oh, yeah, by the way, when you're in your inventory, if you want to sort it, you just hit Z. I don't know. <laughs> that's what they have you do. I, I I don't know. That's 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 just the key. It's a weird key, but whatever. I'm used to kind of um uh oh god, what is that game that I've been playing? Dyson Sphere Program. Oh my god, I'm so out of it tonight. Dyson Sphere Program when you bring up the inventory or whatever has like a little sort icon up there. I'm so used to hitting that, but this game doesn't have it, so whatever. And that's a player. Uh, they cannot kill us, luckily. Otherwise, we would be dead right now, probably. Um, who knows? I don't know how often people just run up and kill other players. So it'll be interesting to find out. All right, so we're going to click on completions because we have some uh, more creatures that we've completed. Do some more loot. And we're continuing to kind of explore around. We are going to kill the snail and... Uh, the turtle. Turtles are good because they give you animal fat. Animal fat will be used for a couple of recipes. And you can see that one of the things that we just got is rot. Um, rot is primarily used for mulch, which you can use for growing things and such. All right, so we're still kind of continuing around. It's going to start getting dark here in just a moment. And I guess what we're going to do is create another torch just to kind of have on standby because this thing will run out. Continue to search around. Oh, this is clay, I believe. Yep, it's clay. And oh, we didn't get a completionist for clay. These little things right here, you know, eventually, you know, you can click on them. Everyone's different. Like sometimes it'll be rock. Uh, some of them are plastic. Uh, and I've gotten a bunch of other just kind of random things out of them, so they're good to get. I think this guy's going to kind of attack us, so we're going to try to stay away from best we can. 
This is rock. So you can see we picked up 32 rock there, so those are great to get. There's just these random little, you know, resource bundles kind of floating around. Let's see, what did we get for completions? Oh yeah, it was the uh, kind of garbage pile. I was going to say junk pile, but... So we learned the discover skill. Oh, sorry, no, we learned the learning skill. <laughs> Which is... I mean, how do you learn the learning skill? It's either you can learn or you can't learn. Like, I mean, I guess does that mean like when we have artificial intelligence and they can become sentient? I don't know. Whatever. I'm not going to think too much about it. Maybe I will. Who knows? <laughs> oh, God, that's dangerous. Oh, yes, this is kind of an issue. Sometimes you go to switch to your thing and it doesn't work. Your torch or whatever. Yeah, so in the background, Brittany uh, said, uh, yeah, Jolene, uh, learn the... Uh, oh, I hate these things. Uh, we're going to try to run from it. Jolene, learn the sentient skill. That's dangerous. I promise, I'm not really a machine. I am totally a human. I swear. You know, I was looking at the stats, and uh, what was that? Pick up, uh, oh, it's just some twigs. Looking at the stats on my stream, and it turns out that the uh, the Terminator stream did pretty well. Um, a lot of people watched the replay, so I think I'm going to redo that one in a future episode. Um, do it on a little bit higher skill, and um, you know, we'll try to go for some uh, for some points and stuff. Keep going until we can, you know, do the, uh, the top skill. So you know, that might be fun. We'll have to do that at some point. I won't be streaming on Saturday, by the way. I'll probably say this a couple more times during the stream because, uh, you know, people kind of coming in late or popping around. But I won't be streaming this Saturday because I have dental surgery on Friday. And, um, you know, I had one uh, a few months ago and it was kind of rough. And I know that this one is also going to be rough because it's the second part. Oh, what is this thing? I don't know what that is. How hard is it going to be to kill? Okay, so let's go ahead and kill it anyway. We don't really have a base. Ooh, argh. Okay, we're going to probably die here. That was probably stupid. Two of these things are now attacking me. Yeah, that is an issue that sometimes you'll start attacking something and then the friends will kind of come in and help. We ran away successfully, but yeah, we took some serious damage. And uh, unfortunately, I think we probably will die here. So we're just going to mine until we, you know, we stop, uh, or until we die, and then we'll just respawn somewhere else. We have no armor, so we're not going to take a lot of damage on that. You can see that we've got a uh, world event over there. We don't have our fishing skill up. I don't think we have our fishing skill right now, so there's really no point in looking at that. But the cool thing is they have these world events that happen just kind of randomly, and, you know, it's a race to, uh, to participate in it. Great news is that we did, um, oh, yeah, there we go, I died. Oh, that's right, in this game I have to, um, that's right, I lost all of my stuff, I have to go back and get my stuff, but I don't have a bed, so I'm going to respawn in a random spot, luckily I'm not that far away. So this is another big thing between PvE and PvP, um, but you see you have one hour to go get your stuff. We do not have a torch or anything, so I'm just going to try to pick up things that I need to craft another torch along the way. Still need a couple of twigs and fiber. Just to make it a little bit easier to kind of make our way around. You know, one thing that would be kind of cool in this game is that, you know, in the wild, animals tend to not like fire. So if I'm carrying fire, it seems like they should... You know, their aggro range should be a little bit different. We are really close to that, so it's not like I have to craft it. It would just be kind of nice to craft this along the way. Cool thing is you can craft while walking, so that's great. We're coming up on the morning, so we're not really going to need that, but... Just grabbing stuff along the way. Oh, it looks like we uh, found another garbage pile for the first time. Oh, it's a different style garbage pile, but it's still a garbage pile either way. Oh, wait, I do have a torch. Huh? Oh, shh. Oh, no. 
Get away from me. Why do I sound like Kermit the Frog? Oh my god, get away from me! Okay, I think they're gone. Not that I'm exaggerating or anything. I was waiting for Brittany to say something, but she's uh, she's playing Cyberpunk right now. She just got a 3060 today, so pretty exciting. Um, I know it's only 3060, but we're going to get her something better later. It's just really hard to get anything right now, and she's upgrading from a 980 Ti, so... 980 Ti to a 3060 is uh, is actually a pretty decent upgrade. So uh, we actually got it in the Newegg Shuffle, so that was pretty exciting. Uh, I was kind of shocked. I didn't expect to actually get anything out of the Newegg Shuffle. Tried to enter it today, but it was not successful because I'm still trying to get a 980 Ti for, or I'm sorry, a 3090 for myself. But um, yeah, they're kind of hard to come by. I haven't seen one pop up in the Shuffle for a little while. I haven't seen any notifications for uh, Amazon either in like a while. So like suddenly in supply just completely dried up. Okay, I hope there's no animals near my corpse because otherwise I'll have to, well, I guess I'll just go ahead and craft the, uh, a knife just in case. I should have crafted it sooner. That's not a knife. Oh, we're going to come back for that rubber tree in a second. Oh, there is this guy right here. Blah. Get away from my corpse. I don't like you. Um, all right, so this guy's going to probably mess us up. But luckily, oh, wow, this guy's really, oh, my God, he hurt us. Oh, uh, yeah, you see, the beginning of this game can be rough. Until you get armor, things are rough. And we're going to try to craft a stone axe or stone knife. We really need to get some armor. I got to say, without armor, these things just hurt. And that is one thing that I'm not a big fan of this game is it does have that period of, you know, that really early on, I think that this would push a lot of players away. They would just be like, eh, you know, I just keep dying. I can't get, you know, anywhere near things. And you know what? Brittany had that same thing. She was really frustrated early on in the game. She, um, you know, she got, she couldn't find the way to get back to things. And then she couldn't find me. And then she was just like, all right, you know, what? I'm taking a break. And so she took a couple hour break and, you know, I kind of convinced her to give the game a try again. And I think she's having fun now, but. Yeah, let's go ahead and turn this in, I guess. I can see the craft and use the torch. We already did that. Now we got to build our bed. And um, once we actually get our, well, we're going to get closer. Let's see, what do we need for our bedroll? We need uh, more twigs for our bedroll. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a bedroll close to where my corpse is. So at least we have a respawn spot. Apple Watch was just notifying me that I need to stand up. I haven't done it in a while. Sorry, machine. I can't listen to you right now. <laughs> All right, so we have enough to do our bedroll. Let me get a little closer. Look at this. Wow, look at this. Like, they've got multiple levels of their wall. That's very good to know. So you can see they've got some um, stone walls. And then I don't know what those other kind of walls are. I guess this person's taking PvP kind of serious. Still heading back to So this is a land claim right here. Somebody else already has that, so we can't... Um, it's obviously not ours, so... And um, we do want to be careful. We, we will need to uh, set up a land claim ourselves at some point soon. But we're going to need to find a place that's going to be relatively safe for us. But nowhere safe in this game. Okay, so you can see that our corpse is kind of close-ish. So we're going to kind of come up here just a little bit more. And then we're going to build a bedroll right here. Oh, wait, I don't have a toolbox. <laughs> Crap. Uh, let's 
Let's see here. Do we have? There we go. Oops, keep it in the wrong key. Better roll, good. We can build that right here. Excellent. Okay, at least we have a respawn point now. Okay, so if we die again, which to be honest with you, we probably will. Um, yeah, many times. Uh, probably many times. Like, where the hell is my corpse? Uh, oh, there it is. See? He's still guarding my corpse for me. Luckily, he took some damage, so we can... Uh, let's see, do we have anything to heal us? I'm playing on a PvP server, so it's a little different. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, you have to go back for your corpse on PvP. Yeah, you do. So we're going to go ahead and click this green herb. It's a little bit more potent if um, you're to prepare it, but we want to get ourselves a little bit of health, and you can see it just gives us a little tiny bit of a boost. Eat one more of those. It'll make it a little bit easier to uh, kind of engage this uh, boar. We're going to go ahead and eat that. And while we eat, we're just going to go ahead and engage him. Sweet. We killed him. Whew. And we killed the boar for the first time. Combat gets a little bit better when you um, once you get some armor. I'm sorry, what was that? What did you call me? I called you sexy. When you killed the boar. Oh, you called me a whore. Oh. Now, don't take my job. <laughs> we're, just, we're just being rude to each other. It's all good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> all right, where's my loot? There we go. Oh, wait, where is my actual loot? I can't see my loot. Oh my god, I know my corpse is nearby, but I can't see it. Oh, here it is. You can see, we got a bunch of items in there, and we are kind of full. This is one thing that's kind of interesting about this game is that. Um, you can when you put items on your toolbar, um, you can still pick up. Um, uh, let's see here. So so basically, this is a separate inventory having items here, um, but we have duplicate items. And I think what we're gonna do. Sorry, my nose is itching a lot right now. So I guess what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and eat, uh, or we're gonna drink all of these. That will give us a bunch of water, plus it's going to give us some room to do the things we need to do. Just going to put our pickaxe back here, put that back there, that there. Let's see, we just still need a little bit more room for that. Um, but I think what we can do is, let's go ahead and, oh wait, we can't do that. Uh, I guess we'll just eat these coffee beans. Oh my god, why is my nose itch so bad? Uh, I swear I need to get some, like, I gotta go see a dermatologist or something. My nose itches a lot all the time. Anyway, okay, so we, uh, you know what we're gonna do? We're going to create, we're just gonna craft up, um, let's see, let's craft up some thread. Because I know thread is gonna be something that we're going to need. And we got this uh, short stack of 58, so we're just gonna tell it to just go ahead and create a bunch of thread because we're going to need that for our armor anyway. And we're just going to uh, do that so we can make ourselves a little bit of room. Still need to craft some more, apparently. There we go. And that should give us some room. Are we going to do R for take all? No free space. So you see we're kind of dropping items on the ground. We'll just go ahead and click these because we want to uh, heal ourselves a little bit. You can only do one of these at a time, obviously. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we still have more loot on us. Uh, okay, how are we going to do this? Um, we really need to establish a plot. So let's go ahead and do that. So construction, we're going to have to set up a land claim. We absolutely need to set up a land claim, and we need some wooden planks, so that's another good thing we can go ahead and craft. Um, but we need to make a little bit more room, so I guess we'll just eat the sugar. Sugar's pretty easy to come by. For some reason, sugar uses your water. I, 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 I don't know. It's 
says it's not particularly a good idea. I mean, yeah, you shouldn't eat sugar, but you know. Um, oh yeah, so going back and forth these menus sometimes, I just, you know. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to craft a bunch of, um, let's see, we're going to use about 32 worth just to kind of use up that half stack. Ah, we'll do 36, whatever. So we're going to go ahead and craft up those boards, which we're going to need for our claim. And we need 100 of those, so it'll be pretty easy to get those. And uh, let's see, I guess we'll, well, I kind of want to pick up these items, but at the same time, like, I don't really have the room for it. Oh, wait, you know, we could come back for the loot because it'll expire in 47 minutes. So we could come back for that. Let's look for a place to set up our land claim. And we might be able to set something up up here. It's be kind of nice. Setting it up next to, oh, ooh, never mind. There's somebody there. Okay, we'll have to come back for all this loot and stuff. This looks like a pretty strong player, so yeah, if we kind of establish next to them, probably a bad idea, but the, the reality is it's kind of hard to find places to, to, to hang your hat at all in this game. So, you know, uh, we're just going to have to roll the dice and hope that they are friendly enough to not uh, want to destroy us for... So, uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to build... Right about here-ish. Oh wait, there's another character there. All right, so this is right in between two other people, but I'm sorry, we have nowhere else to set up. So they're just gonna have to deal. We're probably gonna end up killing them, but whatever. All right, so we have a uh, basic, uh, you know, protection, or uh, protection, what am I saying? So we have our land claim set up and we can now, uh, I think we can move our bedroll, but we can also create another one. But we have a bedroll down here. So let's go grab that bedroll. And we're going to move it up. Oh, wait. No, sorry. We can't move the bedroll because that's not on our land claim. That's the stupidest thing. You have to build a bedroll, and then now we got to build another one. Like, I, I don't know. But this is now our active respawn spot. Great. We'll go ahead and claim this. We need to create a workbench, which is actually the next thing we need to do anyway. We're going to need to create some basic walls as well. Water collector is a great thing to get early on. Primitive fridge, highly, highly recommend that. This way you can kind of store your items in it. Wooden door, wooden crate, we're going to need that. Let's just go ahead and oh, actually, you know what, we'll, um, we'll hold off on the oil fired lamp for right now. Defense, be able to build some basic stuff. Uh, we're going to want to construct a crossbow and a uh, stone tip at some point early on. The cooking table would be a great thing to get as well, so we're going to go ahead and learn that. Same for cooking stove. Oil remedies are great early on. Uh, fruit salad's great because there's a couple of things we can get. Cute, uh, vegetable salad we're going to hold off on, kind of hard to come across. Uh, Anti-mutation medication. We'll need that at some point, but for right now, I think we can kind of hold off on that. Roasted meat is a great recipe. Uh, salt. Uh, uh, we, we don't have glass yet, so we can't really uh, do that just yet, but a fried egg, we'll go ahead and get that. Uh, industry, we're going to need the workbench. Smelting, going to need uh, glass works. We're going to need to be able to build glass and stuff. Uh, iron tools is definitely great to get because um, same with copper maces. Iron knife, crowbar. Since we did a bunch of things, it's great for us to just kind of do this research now. Um, farming, okay, we're gonna hold off on using any more learning points for now because we got a bunch of things we need to build. So let's build our workbench because that's the next thing it's calling for. And we'll just, we'll just kind of pop you down right here. Nice little happy workbench. So when you drop the workbench, you can see that it has two different requirements. There are the blueprint requirements. That's just to drop the blueprint. And then you need the total required because you have to actually use more resources to finish building it. The way you finish building is by left clicking and you will see as I start to build the individual phases of it, it uses a little bit more stuff. Bang, done. Let's go ahead and do the claim on that. Now we need to, uh, we've already learned the cloth armor, which is something that I skipped. Eh, you know, it happens. Um, <laughs> now we have to, uh, we need to equip the, um, we need to make and equip this armor. 
and we were getting our butts kicked before, so we really need to do this, trust me. So let's go ahead and craft the, uh, the hat and cra craft the shirt, but we already made a bunch of threads, so we're good to go on that. While that is crafting, we are going to create some storage. And we're just gonna put the storage over here. And now we can start like placing things in the storage. Um, now, here's a really cool mechanic about this game. So you see this match up, match down? So what that means is that I can hit this up here and then like when you come back to your storage and you're like, oh yeah, you know, I have a bunch of this like sand. Well, there's already sand in here, so I click match up and then it will match up any of the items that are down here with things that are up there. This way it's very easy to organize your stuff. And you can do match down, but when I click match down, I don't have any sand in my inventory, so it doesn't move anything. Of course, you have to sort this, you know, just like you would with anything else. Uh, we're only going to put our, um, or actually, no, yeah, we'll put that in there for right now, because we do need to build a fridge. So let's go ahead and do that. Primitive fridge. Oh, we need some water. We need uh, more planks and stuff. We don't have bottled water yet, so we can't do that quite yet. Um, but let's go ahead and equip our armor. And we do that by hitting tab. I'm going to hit a thousand of the wrong keys first. Go ahead and hit tab. Bring it out there. You can see that we now have a tiny bit of protection. Prote impact protection 15, kinetic 12, explosive 6, heat 6, cold 9, uh, chemical 6, radiation uh, 6, and p uh, PSI protection 0. Now we drop this up here and then you can see heroes are overall. There are only two pieces of armor in the game that I've seen. There are augments and stuff that you get later on. The only thing I've got here, ooh, excuse me. The furthest I've gotten here was with some, um, with some work uh, hunting tools. Um, but I haven't seen anything else with the augmentations. So whatever, so cool. So we did that, we've actually completed both of these. Let's go ahead and hit uh, claim. Perform some basic tasks. We already did all this stuff. Um, permanent base. Well, we've already, you know, done the land claim. We've already done the craft and kill a creature. If we didn't do that early on, we would have died pretty quickly. I think this is out of order. This should have been a lot sooner in the game. But whatever. See, so same thing with find and use the, the herb. Now it wants us to relocate a structure. This is damn easy. Apparently not everything can be relocated, um, but I haven't quite seen things that can't be re relocated, but whatever. So basically what we just need to do is just click on this, move it somewhere else, done. That's it. That's how you relocate things in the game. Same thing if you're like building walls. Um, let's see here. So we are going to build some walls here eventually, but we're actually, let's get started on that now. So we're going to craft a bunch of... Um, uh, what the heck are these called? Wooden planks. Or, yeah, wood planks, wooden planks, whatever. Here's another great feature about this game. If you haven't moved, it has this AFK mode, meaning that uh, your hunger and thirst is suspended. You can craft, you can chat, you can use consumables, but any other action will uh, will cause you to stop being AFK. So this is great. So you can do some crafting. You can reorganize your... Um, your storage so if you have a couple like storage kind of surrounding you it's really easy to do that so we have a little bit of range for um, you know AFK mode would come off if we did constructing but we are going to kind of start on our uh, building some uh, walls and let's face it we're an early newbie player people are going to destroy us if they see us I have no idea what happens when you are beaten up that's going to be kind of my test and kind of see what happens with this game. Um, I don't know if we're going to continue playing this one or we might just go back to the PvE server. It depends on how difficult it is and depends on how much people are douches on here. I don't know. But this PvP server, I'm not taking it serious right now, so whatever. So let's go ahead and claim this. Learning level three. Wee, wee, wee. Um, so yeah, so learn basic building technologies. So now we have to learn the, uh, or we have to build a door. Oh my god, it just reminds me of, um, Beetlejuice, where it's like, okay, now draw a door. 
Oh my god, such a great movie. I love that movie. Been still waiting for ages for them to, you know, make the sequel. They've been talking on and off about that forever, and I just... I wonder if it's ever really going to happen. I don't think it's going to. Oh yeah, by the way, I hate the fact that, like, with, uh... With this invent or with this armor, like it just hides all your like fabulous hair. So we're gonna click the little like uh, show my uh, show my hair icon. Um, I, it's something I just kind of hate about games. I hate it when they do that, but whatever. Uh, okay, so we gotta build a door. That we had to grab a little bit of stone. Ah, so this is a good point where I can say like the blueprint requires this, but in order to finish building it, we need more stone. I have noticed that there are some bugs in the game where you can get stuck in a space where you just can't end up finishing your building if you don't have all the resources right off the bat. So I'm going to recommend that if you uh, do plan on building something, just have all the resources right now. Don't do the blueprint thing. I just don't feel that it's reliable enough. You know, maybe they'll fix it. Who knows? But for right now, that's what I would say. Let's go ahead and build a door right here. And we'll just put you right here. Hey, it's a door. Now i got to continue building that, of course. Now each time you build or, or deconstruct something, your toolbox will take some durability hits. So let's go ahead and uh, build some more walls while we're here. You can place a bunch and then go through and then, you know, finish building them. Probably shouldn't have done that because, uh, you know, like I said, it can sometimes get a little bit buggy, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, actually, we don't want to craft that many of them. Should have had a lot of those going in the background, but whatever. Cool, so let's go ahead and do that. We also got to get our forge going so we can start to smelt some of the uh, metals and stuff that we picked up. And we're continuing to kind of build some walls and just add some basic protection. But you can see other people have like, um, they have a lot better stuff. So they can probably kick our, our asses pretty quickly. All right, here we go. So, um, yeah, so we have to uh, craft the uh, herbal remedy. And we do it on either a cooking table or a medical lab. And we don't have either of those yet. So that's underneath in uh, industry. So let's go ahead and we're going to create a, we'll create the cooking table first. Doesn't really matter where you put these. I mean, eventually you'll want to have some kind of organization, but uh, for right now, we're just kind of putting it so it's a little bit out of the way. And uh, you can see that we need some rust rooms for this, or rust shrooms. But okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, so we grabbed a couple out of the box. We're going to tell just go ahead and create all those. These are better than just using the green herbs directly. So I recommend using these instead of your green herbs. So we're going to tell that to keep going. And uh, for the cooking stove, I know we need some more stone. So let's go grab some of that. And there was some mines down here. So let's, while that's continuing, oh, it's just finished, never mind. I was gonna say, while that continues uh, cooking, or not cooking, uh, you know, chemical fying, whatever the heck it was doing, I don't know. It's gonna hit this wood tree here. And the great thing is to that left, you can see that there is a stone pile. These stone piles are great because it gives you like 30 something, yeah, 35. Get some learning points out of that too. Chop down this rubber tree. Oh yeah, we can finish this now too. So you can see we're kind of, you know, we're moving along pretty good. We got smelting furnace and got to get some copper ingots, but you know, luckily we got a couple. Cool thing is when you're doing this, so there are a lot of these items that you can just pick up as you're walking along, like stone, twigs, fiber, um, but there are some other things that require gather. 
And as long as you stay within close proximity of it, you can continue to gather. So you can see I'm kind of moving a little bit and then I can continue going on, on my way. Grabbing some stone out of this. And then I think we will have enough stone so we can just continue to grab things on our way back. Now, you definitely want to use the run whenever you can. Uh, I mean, of course, there are some issues with, you know, you want to make sure that you always have some stamina on standby if you're playing on the PvP server. Um, but you will get some learning points and you will get some uh, stamina. Um, or you will get increases to your stamina over time by using it. So, or, or your... I don't know, maybe it's like a regen or there's, there's a skill that you can basically get from it. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that. I'm not sure if we got it yet. Let's see. No, we haven't gotten it yet, so we have to discover it. I guess we have to discover how to how to run. <laughs> don't know either. Um, all right, so cool. So let's take a look at the recipes of what we can do. And you can see here's the roasted meat. That's great. Uh, we need animal fat. We need raw meat. Uh, and I believe that we have some animal fat in here, but let's relocate this. We're going to relocate this a little bit closer, and we're going to consider this to be kind of our food. Oh, too far, what? Oh, apparently you can only relocate these a certain distance at a time. That's kind of... Okay. But this one is going to be for our, um, our food. We actually don't have any fat on us. I think we might have it on our corpse. So let's just drop some things in there right now that we don't need. You can see the matchup works great. And then we can go get the rest of our items. Actually, let's build another storage. Oh, it's under, it's, what the heck is it? Oh, storage. Uh, oh, we need more planks. I'll tell you, you always need planks in this game. No, we don't want to do 85. Let's do a nice, healthy 200. 205, why not? <laughs> Make it an annoying number for reasons. <laughs> Let's create another wooden crate. We'll put this one over here, and you know, I guess this one we'll kind of consider um, something else. But yeah, for right now, we'll just kind of drop uh, a bunch of stuff in there. We're going to go out and do a bunch of more farming. And uh, let's see here. Not putting too many of the food items in there yet. Oh, primitive fridge. We still need some water for that. But in order to do that, we're going to need a... Uh, we're going to need the furnace, so we need more rocks. Or stone, or whatever. So let's go grab... Let's grab this rubber tree while we're here. We're going to go grab some more stone. And we're going to go grab our corpse. It's going to expire in 30 minutes. And we have to continue to build our walls because our newbie protection is going to expire in 59 minutes. Sorry, I got a notification. I had to make sure that it wasn't important for work. gonna order dinner in a few. I just realize I'm starting to get a little hungry. <laughs> I ate a bagel for lunch and that's it. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Athletic skill has been discovered. So let's see, what does that give you? Uh, stamina depletion. Okay, so you, you 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 run a little bit more effective and you don't uh, drop stamina as quick. Um, but we're going to go ahead and mine some of these items as we move towards our corpse, which is really close by. Continue to get some of those learning points. I don't know, learning points just sounds so stupid. Like, I mean, I get why they called it that, but it just sounds so stupid when you say it out loud. Like, sorry, I was just checking my, uh, I think I accidentally kicked out my um, cable for my, uh, so I kind of have a, crappy setup right now with my Mac Mini. I'm doing a uh, plotting on it with uh, dual external uh, NVMe drives that are uh, connected over th uh, USB-C. I'm trying to get some Thunderbolt ones though next. But uh, they're connected RAID 0 and unfortunately I think I 
the cable again and it might have disconnected so it might have actually screwed up my plot again which if that's the case I'm going to be kind of annoyed because this is going to be the second time that I've done that today uh, let me switch over to the other computer and see if uh, it's messed up or not I will be hella annoyed if it is I mean if it is it is what it is I just have to get off my butt and create a better yep that's what happened again oh my own Ah, oh, damn it. And I was almost done with that. I was at 76% on two plots. Ah, oh, crap. All right. Oh, give me one second. Let me, uh, uh, do I feel like dealing with this right now? Yeah, I guess I should. Ah, oh, crap. I can't, I knew I hit that button too, or I hit that. Give me one second. Be right back. All right, well, hopefully this reconnects. Yeah, I might have to, actually another thing I might have to do is I might have to just take this off of being on uh, RAID 0 for right now because that's just, I've lost more time out of this than I would have gained by not using RAID on this. So, uh, you know, whatever. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and just, uh, sorry, really quickly, I'm just going to... Um, tell us to restart because I want to make sure that I am participating in the farming part of my harvester because I, I had some issues with my NAS um, true NAS screwed something up in their most recent build uh, and I lost a bunch of um, oh crap this is the wrong button sorry give me one second But yeah, they uh, they screwed something up with SMB when I converted from um, from uh, uh, from free NAS to true NAS. Suddenly, SMB just completely failed across the board. And uh, needless to say, I'm pretty pissed about that uh, because it's really made my NAS just difficult to work with. And uh, also at the same time, I kind of ran out of space on it. So uh, I've been realizing that I kind of need a dual NAS setup. Uh, here because I have different requirements for different things. Um, wow, my Twitch stream just dropped on me over here. Uh, I, I'm having a lot of technical problems this week. It's been, uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I've been kind of plagued with uh, issues this past week. Um, anyway, so I got a new NAS, just came in today. Picked up one of the uh, Syn Synology. I forget what the heck it's called. That came in today, but the new drives didn't come in. Because my my, NAS, my free NAS box is like, the drives are almost full. So like, I got like 1% left on it. And yes, I'm starting to mine some Chia coin right now. I'm playing around with it, I, you know. I don't know if it's going to be worth it long term or not. Just, you know. I'm basically mining it right now to pay for the cost of <laughs> upgrading my NAS. That's basically it. Like, um, I, I've seen some other people kind of doing that. Um, you know, just trying to make some quick cash out of it. I don't know if it's going to be around long term. We'll say, you know. But, uh, but yeah, unfortunately, I kind of screwed up my plotting again. And uh, uh, when those new drives come in, hopefully this will stop happening. Um, but yeah, I need to. Uh, I, to be honest with you, I'm not even sure if it's it's me hitting the buttons, but uh, either way, after I'm done with the stream, I need to kind of shift around some data. I might have to copy to one of my laptops temporarily, but it's like two gigs worth of data, but I'm going to have to like copy to like a different system so I can uh, break the raid and uh, just plot on one of them for right now because it's just, uh, yeah. But yeah, Chia, Chia Coin's an interesting uh, way that it goes, but I think that, I mean, it's funny because they say like, oh yeah, we're going to be the, uh, we're going to be the envir environmentally friendly, um, 
you know, a uh, coin. So you, we're not wasting a lot of energy for uh, for the actual stream, you know, for the, the process of like, you know, generating the coins. Oh, except for the fact that it's very easy to completely destroy an SSD with it. Like, yeah, so like every, you know, few months you're just gonna be like buying, having to buy a brand new SSD for it. Like, that's not very eco-friendly. And I think that my bet is if you look at the power requirements that are going to be required to create way more SSDs, you'll probably find out that the carbon footprint, at least I'm speculating, the carbon footprint for, uh, for, you know, for creating all those additional SSDs will probably be worse. Of course, it, it, you know, things will reach a certain phase where plotting is just not going to be very feasible. Um, you know, uh, right now I'm using um, some consumer grade, consumer ish grade um, NVMEs, but I am in the process of converting over to um, PCIe, uh, like, you know, the Intel Opteron, whatever the heck they call them, the, you know, the enterprise grade SSDs that have just like petabytes and petabytes of, uh, of write capability. Like, I'll put it this way, like, so I have, um, I'm using a 980, Samsung 980, uh, 980 Pros, and they have like three petabytes of uh, rate uh, endurance. The ones I'm looking at, the Intels, are like 46 petabytes. So, and they're about the same cost, but they're PCIe, and that doesn't work for my Mac Mini. And unfortunately, right now, the only machine that I can really effectively plot on is either my free NAS box, which is basically my NAS and I use for, well, a lot of work purposes. <laughs> um, and then I have my, you know, uh, my old gaming box, which is currently not assembled. Um, but uh, it occurred to me last night that I need to go through and reassemble it. Anyway. Bunch of just random crap while I uh, was doing a little bit of farming here. So, let's see. Unlock some more skills. Awesome. Need to learn how to pl uh, plant seeds and stuff, but let's first go ahead and start some smelting. So we need to create a furnace. So creating a furnace is pretty easy. It just requires a bunch of... Um, bunch of uh, stone. And I guess we're going to go ahead and put you right here. And I am going to chop you down. I want to be careful not to chop down the uh, the furnace because that would be bad. So make sure that you reselect your uh, your toolbox before you do that because trust me, you'd be kind of upset if you destroy all those materials. I've done that twice already. All right, so the same thing. Come up here. We're going to uh, eventually create a storage specifically for raw materials that we need. Um, but let's see, we're going to grab some of the wood, and we are actually going to be using wood for this part. I'm going to cut down that rubber tree in just a second, too, because, you know, rubber trees are good. This is not a fully grown rubber tree, so I think it's only going to give us three instead of five rubber. Oh, it gave us eight. Huh. Okay, I don't know how that works, then. Because I've gotten zero before. All right, so furnace. We're going to drop some core or some copper in here. Automatically matched it up. We're going to drop some fuel in here. Let it just do its thing. And I am actually going to create a second furnace. Um, I'm going to just create it behind or down here because we're going to continue to create some walls and stuff. There we go. And then we're going to drop uh, some iron ore in there this time. Drop some more wood in there. Let that continue doing its thing. Great. I'm going to chop down this tree right here. We're going to continue to expand out our walls and such. Seeing, you know, manufacture uh, t 10 copper ingots. That is going right now. Just going to wait for the snapshot to finish. Snapshot completed. Cool. Just finish building these. So I'm going to use the wooden walls as kind of my, in, you know, inner walls for right now. Um, 
you know, once I am able to build uh, stone walls, I will just expand. Uh, so what I'll have to do is I'll have to expand my land claim. And when I expand my land claim, that will allow me one more space out. And then I'll use that to put uh, stone, stone walls in. And in order to get to the construction two, we have to unlock all of construction one. And we're really close. Let's just go ahead and get that one more. And we'll be able to get construction two, which allows us to have the, the next land claim. And then we can also do stone uh, construction. So let's go ahead and do that because that's really important. Let's get those stone walls too. Sorry, my nose is itching really badly. Iron crates are kind of cool because you get a little bit more storage space and it only requires iron ingots and uh, wooden planks. So I guess, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll pick that up. Why not? Um, but you can see, like, for example, offense. We have to have more offense than the other thing before we can start making guns and stuff. Uh, you can see for defense, we need, uh, in order to be able to research this defense, we need thread, rope, and glue. We can't do glue yet because glue is over here, so we're going to go ahead and unlock that. Uh, wooden armor, not bad. Bone armor, it's a pain in the ass. I, I stay away from the bone armor, to be honest with you. Makeshift lamp helmets, uh, it's just kind of a waste, to be honest with you, especially if you're going to be dying a lot early on. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we're gonna, just going to probably skip the rest of those unless it really needs us to get those. Oh, sorry. It does require us to get the rest in order to unlock the next tier of it. See, because if I try to unlock it, it says that we need 100% of tier 1. So unfortunately, we have to get all these, even though we won't really be making those. But whatever. Uh, so for defense, we will unlock this because we want to be able to make this quilt armor. I believe the quilt armor is a little bit stronger and it's kind of easier to make. Leather armor does take a little bit more to make, so we're going to stay away from that right now. Ah, my nose. I hate it. Oh yeah, farming basics, so we will have to unlock that. Hunter tools, let's go ahead and break that. The hunter tools, that is actually something I was talking about earlier. Uh, so it requires leather and iron ingots. And I believe that we have somewhere. We have the leather. Oh, we need one more leather, so we can't do that quite yet. Oh, we found some more copper here. So let's go ahead and put that in our... Let's see, we're producing iron ingots there. We're producing copper here. Let's drop that in there. You can see it is creating copper, charcoal, and ash. Don't get rid of the ash. The ash is actually useful later, and that's for uh, creating glass. So let's actually create one more. No, let, let's, oh wait, you know what? Let's go ahead and create a water collector because we need to get some water. Oh, you know what? We do actually need another furnace. Um, so let's go ahead and create, oh wait, how much are those? Oh, those are 150. That's too expensive. So. We're going to pause this for right now, but we need sand. I know this recipe offhand, so at least I think I do. <laughs> so glass. So we need sand and we need ash in order to create glass. So we're going to pause that recipe for right now. Put some sand in there. Put some ash in there. That's not really enough, but we can grab some more ash from here. Just to produce enough glass that we could be able to create a container. And we can use a container inside of our, um, inside of the uh, water collector, and then we can drink that water. Because you'll see that our water is really low right now. Your character starts to get thirsty, a bunch of other stuff starts to happen. And we also should probably go ahead and start, you know, cooking some of this food too. So let's go to this, and you can see that we can create the roasted, oh wait, we don't have... We don't have the animal fat. We need to get some animal fat. All right, so we got to go out and get some of that animal fat so we can um, so we can use that before it runs out. Unfortunately, um, let's see. We don't have any fruit yet. We haven't explored and found any. We don't have coffee beans yet, so we can't do that. Don't have enough leather, but let's go ahead and craft um, let's craft that container. Let's see if we have enough there. Perfect. I think it's creating one more of those. 
will just tell us to max out and create as many of those as it can. I think this should give us one more of those. Perfect. Apply the matching recipe. But yeah, you can see even though it ran out of the source materials for the glass, the fuel will keep going until it runs out and then it stops. It doesn't consume anymore, but this line right here will go through all the way. This guy probably would attack us. I think that uh, he's kind of looking around. He kind of wants to destroy us. Now, one thing I haven't looked at is uh, the politics and see if we could try to find somebody that we can join. So they're level six. Oh, die. You know, funny thing is I used to be in a guild called die. Uh, they got a pretty good faction score. Um, let's see. I don't know if we can apply to any of these. Um, I don't know if any of these are going to, like, I think there's a way, like, I remember when I started playing, I, um, oh, that's what it is, like, there's this lock, there's either locked or open, and I don't think there's, a PvP probably won't have any open, um, yeah, applications, Oh, okay, this is how you have to do it. You have to submit an application here. So let's see. Um, so let's see if there's a good one that we can um, sort by level. Uh, this one's good. Oh, oh, that's what it is. You can only have a maximum of two members for every faction. That's what it is. Okay. That's what they were talking about before. It's not about the group. It's about you can only have... Um, Within, okay, so I guess we can't really join a faction. That's okay. Uh, but let's go ahead and create one, and somebody can. Um, oh, you can't have public. That's what it is. Got it. All right, we need learning points for that. I don't want to waste those. It's fine. We're down to 38 minutes of uh, newbie protection, so uh, we need to kind of get moving here. Uh, okay, so we did the build a furnace thing. Now we got to do the, the plot. And uh, let's see here. We haven't quite learned that yet. So let's learn some farming. Oh, I know we're going to need a water can, so let's just go ahead and unlock that. I'm starting to really get hungry here. Okay, we need some sand in order to create the, uh, the, the plot. Weird that you use sand for creating a farm plot. I, I don't know about that, but okay, sure. <laughs> sure, why not? All right, so we're going to drop that right there. It's asking us to plant some seeds. Oh, build a farming workbench so we can go ahead and do that. And uh, so this is where we can, um, so what you can do is when you get certain vegetables, you can combine that with sand and it will give you seeds. Really weird recipe, I know. I don't get it either, but whatever. Um, <laughs> so, you know, but you have to get these seeds. You could find them, you can buy them off players, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and then uh, you have to, uh, um, sorry, brain, <laughs> having a brain fart. Um, so you, but also like once you plant those seeds, you have to make sure that you, uh, you, um, you harvest them within this certain period. So I think it's like four hours or something like that. So if you plant them, you got to make sure that you're going to be around to actually use them. Um, Otherwise, you lose it, and then if you plant the rest of your seeds and you don't harvest and you don't make more seeds, you have to get more. You have to find more seeds later. So you can kind of put yourself in a. Oh, somebody gave me a gun and ammo. Oh yeah, here's another thing. When you first come into it, you can't chat until you try to chat for the first time. It's so stupid.
was almost tempted there for a second to say, sorry, I was busy streaming, but nobody cares. <laughs> Plus, I don't think I want to advertise directly on the stream that I'm, you know, or, you know, on this server that I'm streaming it. But, yeah, you can see. Okay, so within the uh, the water uh, collector, you, um, yeah, so you just drop an empty bottle in there. This little thing, this little gauge will go up over time. This is how much water is actually in there. And it will drop out the output. You can see it just gave me that. Um, this guy gave me a Luger, which is awesome. But uh, let's see. I guess we'll just kind of place that right there for right now. Oh, we did have animal fat. Oh. All right. So let's go ahead and cook that because we are getting super duper 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 low on that. On our food. We're about starving and we're almost out of water too. So we can start complaining soon. Oh, wait, we go into is it cooking stove, I thought? I thought this was cooking stove. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you can see. Oh, we just got a world event. I don't know if we could participate. Oh, space debris. So space debris did drop. Um, we're in newbie protection, so we don't, we don't have enough time to get there. But uh, let's see if we can quickly cook something, because our characters can start starving really soon. Um, oh, wait, that's what it was. We wanted to do this, and then we got this some twigs in there let that cook there we go I'm gonna go try to run to the event uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get there in time or not people tend to uh, grab the things really quickly and since this is a PvP server, I'm sure that people are going to rush in and uh, kill each other pretty quickly. Try to be careful because there are some runes around here. And uh, those runes have uh, radiation and they will mess you up. Oh, that one definitely has radiation, so we're going to try to stay away from it. Still looking for, this is still a little bit out of range. Once you get into the area of, ooh, 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 get away from that, no. Once you get into range of the uh, the event, you will see that it, uh, it will tell you the progress of how many people have found which item. Let's see, I'm just picking up some random things along the way, trying to avoid, yeah, see, now you see in the mini map, you can see where that thing is. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it in time. People will probably have collected two of those by now. People tend to rush to these events. So on a PvE server, it's not so bad. I'm going to stay away from that boar. Um, stay away from that. And you can see nobody's collected any so far. So that's kind of interesting. So now what we got to do is we got to kind of run around and we're looking for this little, like, capsule thing on the ground. And you'll see, luckily it's not um, nighttime. So that's kind of nice. When it's nighttime, it's a pain in the ass to find these things. But now we're just going to wander around within that circle. And uh, once we find it, we just need to click on it. It takes a few seconds to like hack it and then loot it. And I think that during that time, nobody can steal the item. However, since it's a PvP server, I think that they can... Oh, here's one right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit Click hack. Oh, I'm under newbie protection. That sucks. But you know what? We're going to do something stupid. We're going to cancel newbie protection so we can loot this. Oh, wow. It takes a long time to hack on a PvP server. Holy crap. This is totally different. Watch. This guy's going to totally kill me. Yep. And I'm dead. Told you we were doing something stupid. I wanted to see what would happen. And I knew exactly what was going to happen. <laughs> All right. So, yep, that was a stupid move on our part. Um, to be honest with you, I might have screwed my game. <laughs> uh, yeah.
Hey, at least they're being cool about it. I mean, you know, they're going through my stuff. They're going to loot some stuff. Eh, you know what? To be honest with you, you know, I, I kind of deserve that. I, I got what I deserved on that. And hey, they're being cool about it. Whatever. He's going to take some items. It's probably nothing. To, whoa, I don't know what that is, but I want to stay away from it. Yeah, I hate it in these games when everybody just assumes that you're a dude. Well, guess what? Chicks play this game. Chicks play games. Like, you know. Yeah, whatever. Got to correct them a little bit. Make sure that they, uh... Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm not surprised that there were some people, like, hacking and crap in the game. Yeah. I mean, that's going to happen, you know. Like, whatever. It is what it is. Since my items are being looted, so I don't know what's up with that. But, you know. He might kill us again. If he does, you know, it's our fault for just not being prepared, you know. This is why I'm, you know, I'm playing around with, uh, you know. Playing around, seeing how it works. And to be honest with you, like, I, I mean, I'm going to see how well this does with, um, you know, on the stream for the replay. I mean, to be honest with you, there's nobody on right now watching me. So um, I'm going to, you know, see how things go in the, you know, the next couple of days with analytics. And then um, if nobody watches this game, you know, to be honest with you, I might not, uh, I might not stream this one again. Or I might just stream on the PVE server. I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Like, oh, stay away, sneak. No, 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 no. Oh, well, yeah, they're all uh, going for it. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> All right, so let's head back to our base. You know, that, that experiment was uh, was a terrible idea. So it's good to know. Like, so on the PvP or PvE servers, you loot those a lot faster. Like, it only takes, like, a second or two, and then you loot it. Um, yeah, whatever. It is interesting that, like, it doesn't put all the things back in the position that they were, which would have been nice. But, yeah, you can see that the guy took some things from me. Uh, he didn't take my Luger, which I appreciate. Thank you for that. Um, it's where it says my items are being looted. Oh, okay, that's, uh, yeah. All right, whatever. Oh, that's interesting. Somebody taking no damage. Yeah, it's probably people some hacking. That's the problem with PvP, especially on games like this. I mean, people are going to hack, you know. So, you know, to be honest with you, like, I have been looking at this game and, you know, thinking a little bit about, you know, the style of this game. And there are, there are some aspects of this game that are similar to some ideas that I, ooh, stay away from this guy. It's a li lizard guy. He will mess me up, especially when I have the uh, the weakened. When you die, you get weakened, you know, so it's something you got to be aware of. It's like a, a res kind of, you know, thing. I should have known that guy was going to steal my, um... My torches. I mean, you could have at least left me with a torch, dude. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not complaining. Like, I don't really care that much. Um, the things he might have gotten out of me, it's nothing all that useful. I mean, clearly, I mean, the guy's on a hoverboard. He's got a lot of stuff. Like, he doesn't really care about most of my crap. Um, yeah, whatever. <laughs> But that's the thing. You're going to play on a PvP server. You're just going to have to deal with it. And as long as people aren't being complete douches, like, you know, it, it, it's up to them to kill you. If they want to kill you, you know, it's your fault. You're playing on a PvP server. It's just how it rolls. I played on PvP servers for a long time. Did you take my... Oh, you didn't. Okay, good. I took my simple toolbox. I was going to be like, dude, why'd you take my toolbox? <laughs> Could at least left me with that, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> Hey, Brittany. Trying to get a hold of the Brittany. Brittany, if you're watching the stream, I'm trying to get your attention, IRL. 
Uh, would you like to? I'm sorry. I know that you're busy playing Cyberpunk, but would you like to order food? I have your stream up. I just wanted my phone shut off. What's up? Would you like to order some food? Sure. I figured now's a good point of the stream to order food, and then when the food shows up, that'll be the end. I don't know the place that you like. That was what I was trying to tell you earlier. Oh, okay. So. Because you want to do Indian or whatever, and I yeah. don't know what to order. So. so we're getting Indian food. I just. So the problem is that uh, because of the pandemic, a lot of places that I used to order from all the time are no longer around. So I don't actually know the current places. So I would say that let's just pick like one of the top places. Like let me let me take a look at uh, Postmates. And, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'll like give me a second. I need to. Um, I'm okay. I have four toasted poodles. So if you want to wait for situation, sorry, one second. Well, no, I'm getting hungry myself, so, you know. I, uh, I you picked out on the toaster strolls. Wow, I haven't had toaster strolls in forever. I didn't know we had toaster strolls. They've been up there for like two months, and I finally splurged them out. Have they? Oh, my God, girl. you got to tell me these things. You know me, my memory. I was hungry. Oh, you forgot. So, of course, you can't remind me because I forgot, and you forgot. Exactly. You didn't tell me, or maybe you told me. I, don't know. I was hungry, so. I still gotta find a really good Thai place though. Ah, it Thai sucks because there's so many want. Thai places I used to love around here. Oh uh, man, I could do either. Like, let me see what Thai places are around because I've been in Thai in like forever. Yeah, I just want to do something different. See whatever sounds good. Yeah. I'm kind of um, playing my game or I'm in stealth mode, so I was kind of hyper focused. Sorry. Oh wait, this place stops accepting. Um, 11 minutes, so I'm going to say no on that one. I feel like I've been there before. Or I've had there before. Um, I guess, okay, so this place is going to be $5 off, so I guess we'll go there. Okay. Um, let's see. What do I want? Oh, you know, I want you some want pad sayo. Okay, I don't really know what to order for Thai. Okay, so um, what I would recommend, uh, pad sayo is like, uh, it's like a protein, like, uh, chicken or whatever and it's like noodles and broccoli and like um it's like a um like a gravy kind of sauce sounds good uh then there's also like i would recommend um beef penang okay. that's a, you know what if you want to get this then i'll get my beef penang and then you could try a little bit of it either or get both i don't care okay sounds good well either i want good. i want you to try a little bit of a couple yeah. of things there are some thai food that i think you'll like but you know okay yeah whatever whatever's easiest it okay. sounds good and can, uh, hold on one second, all I have to mute for just a second. Okay, sorry about that. I had to say some private things there. <laughs> things I just don't want to get banned on my stream for, you know. Um, all right, so let's go ahead. You know, it's funny, they're like, hey, what protein would you like? Beef, okay. And then it's like, do you want to make it vegetarian? Wait, how does that work? <laughs> oh my god, I did that once. I was in a um, uh, actually, I'll tell that story in a second. Let me uh, give me from a beef panang. My god, I gotta say, like, I, I want to go back to Thailand again someday. The food there was just holy crap sauce, amazing. You go. All right, I guess crap sauce is probably not a good way to describe how much I love it, but um, uh. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and ignore what you just said. Because, yeah. Oh, I don't know if they have Penang here. Well, order whatever sounds good. Well, they have a pumpkin curry. Pumpkin curry's not bad, but I want to have you try Penang. But why does this... Oh, this is slightly different. Um, I'll have you try pumpkin, because I, I don't know the other one that well. I'm not a big fan of pumpkin. Oh, you don't like pumpkin. Thank you. No. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So let's see. I'll trust your judgment. Otherwise, I'll have to take in a beef pasta you don't want. <laughs> okay. So um, I'm sorry. Oh, just give me a second. We're kind of ordering food, so, you know. Uh, all right. So do you like... Uh, it's bamboo shoot, basil, uh, fresh chili, bell peppered curry, uh, coconut milk. Sound good? Mm, I'll try it. 
It, what, what in there do you not like? Bamboo shoots, coconut. Oh, you don't like either of those? Oh, crap. Um, okay, so this is a... Oh, that's co So there's a lot of coconut in... I hate coconut. You hate... Oh, actually, the thing is, is I had it recently, and I actually did kind of like it. Um, let's just say no bamboo shoots. I'm sorry. All right, that's fine. Um, so how about... Um, that's okay. Uh, potato, yellow curry paste, and coconut milk? That sounds great. Okay, let's go with that. Do you want um, chicken, pork... Beef. I'd probably go chicken on that one. Chicken. Okay. Excellent. Spiciness. Um, Please choose carefully. We're super spicy. <gasps> I love spicy. Uh, do you want to go mild with that? I was going to say mild or medium. Okay. Uh, so, so if, if they're super spicy, mild is more like a medium or hot. Then so I love spicy, but Thai is spicy, girl. Yeah. I mean, when I go to Thailand, like I order like medium but you could tell already that i mean based on some of the things we've had i like spicy more than you well, let's, try, <laughs> let's try the mild and all right then, um, do you like uh fried rice uh yeah okay well we're gonna get some uh, like pineapple fried, fried rice to, to kind of mix in there okay all right cool um sorry i can't believe we're ordering dinner during the stream normally we kind of have this planned beforehand but you know like oh, whatever kind of have it planned oh have you ever had a thai iced tea do you like them? I had one I liked and one I hated. All right, we'll we'll order two, and if you don't like it, I'll just drink it. Okay. Oh my God, this dinner is so expensive. <laughs> we order takeout way too much. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, I'll put these way. Like, j just because y'all might not really know San Francisco prices. Like, we're ordering Thai food. It's for two people. It's fifty six dollars for delivery. My I think my order last night was like seventy. Yeah. It's hella expensive here. People don't realize that. Like, mind you, I cooked six times this last week. Yeah, I know, I know, I, I. I know, no, no, I'm not saying that. No, I'm no, just saying no. Yes, I, we this is for the stream. Know. This is for the stream, girl. Stream, girl. Um, All right. So food's been placed. Uh, we'll talk about that later. But um, could you uh, that thing that I was talking about? What Thank thing? you. She got me a treat. Mm, Thank good you. Girl gets a treat. Mm -hmm. I was a good girl, so I got a treat. Sorry, I'm gonna um, just gonna lower the volume for a second while I chew this a little toy snack. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I didn't want to, you know, like chew and stuff. Uh. Who are they talking about? Oh. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? All right. So, um, no wonder. Did they steal my food? Well, I didn't really have any food on me, but... Oh, you know what? <laughs> my character's like... Oh, yeah. This guy's gonna, like, probably jack me. If he jacks me, like, whatever. At least I'm close by. He's probably gonna jack all my stuff. Ah, oh, cool. So another uh, person that's new. Yeah, I mean, it was a really good point that I should have built my, uh, I should have finished building my walls before I built everything else. Um, but, you know, whatever. Funny thing is, I didn't even really know how to do uh, local chat until that moment. So whatever. <laughs> All right, cool. So we are moving along. So let's continue working on these walls and stuff. Uh, I mean, to be honest with you, they're probably just going to destroy all my stuff by the time I log out. So, like, whatever. Um, <laughs> you know. Uh, honestly, for PvP, I, I really should, uh, if I'm going to do PvP on this game, I'm going to need to do it starting day one. Because um, if you don't get a, a, if you're not moving along with the, the flow of people, you're just going to get destroyed. And, and that's okay. I mean, I'm just playing around, you know. And to be honest with you, I don't have a lot of time for PvP games like this these days because 
I, I, I have gamer ADD. I just kind of bounce it back for, between games. Like, I was playing this the other night, and then I was just like, eh, you know, I'm just not feeling it anymore, and I just switched to a different game, like, randomly. Like, who knows how long I'll want to play this game. Like, it's hard to get committed to a game that it's like, I have to play it every night. Like, that that was kind of the, the issue that I ran into with World of Warcraft, is that, like, I loved playing it, but then, you know, I was so into working with my guild and stuff that eventually it just became like, ugh, like, do I, I don't feel like raiding tonight. I just don't, you know? And then it just became, like, just a nonstop, like, every night it was just like, I don't feel like raiding. And, uh, you know, but if you were on, you know, I just wanted to just, you know, play a character. So then I would have to have alts. And then if they would catch you on the alt, they'd be like, why aren't you raiding? And it was just annoying. And I just, I, I got tired of dealing with it all the time. So I just, I'm done with WoW. I, I think that WoW was fun for a time. I tried playing WoW Classic. Like, you know, it'll never be the same because there are elements of the game that, you know, they've, they've gotten rid of some of the cheesiness and fun stuff that I used to do back in the day. Uh, so the PvP servers are just not fun anymore. Like, I can't do the things that I used to do. Yes, the things I did were probably pretty screwed up, I'm not going to lie. But, like, you know... See how this would affect to local. There we go. Um, anyway, um, but yeah, like I just I, I just can't do it anymore. I don't have the time for that, you know. I just I, I want to be able to play other games and play them whenever I feel like it, you know. Like I mean, Satisfactory. Like I built up this big factory, and then you know I'll go back to it at some point. I'm just a little bit like I played so many hours in a row that I just kind of got a little bit burnt on it. So taking a break from for a little while you know i mean that's not really add that's just you know i game a lot like i game almost every single night and um you know whatever and i'm actually thinking about um i haven't played it but i'm thinking about picking up uh red dem red, red dem redem red dem red dem red dem red dem Red, 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 dead, red, 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 Jesus, why can't I say that word? Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh my God, why was that so difficult? <laughs> yeah, so I've been thinking about picking that game up. I mean, uh, I have an Xbox Series X and, you know, to be honest with you, I haven't found any new games that I really want to play on it. So I've been thinking like, eh, pick that up maybe and um i've been looking at you know finding ways to kind of connect that to my streaming setup and uh you know i don't know if i want to stream that game i don't know if i want to just play it myself you know i don't know because do i want to stream every game that i'm playing i don't know maybe maybe not i'm trying to you know i'm still gonna always check out some games maybe there's some games i just feel like just kind of you know, putting on some South Park and just kind of zoning out and playing, you know? Sometimes I do that. I do want to get back to some cyberpunk, though. I, I was realizing that the other day, and, you know, Brittany started playing it, too, so then that started making me think, like, oh, my God, I want to get back to playing that game. I haven't finished it, so, you know, maybe what I should do is maybe I should just finish cyberpunk before I move on to Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, I know the game's been out for, like, a year or two, something like that, but, like, you know... <laughs> Not gonna lie, I watched a South Park episode that they were talking about it, and uh, I was just sitting there going, oh my god, you know, I've heard so much about that game, it's one of those games I really wanted to play, but I don't know what I was doing at that point that I wasn't able to play, but, you know, whatever. So, yeah. They just purchased the game today. Just kind of put that in the wrong spot. Luckily, I can kind of move that. That's easy. See, my character's getting a little bit... Ooh, wait. Why can't I move this? <gasps> Interesting. Okay, so apparently in PvP, you can't move the walls. Interesting. So that's different. Okay, that's really different. So on the PvE servers, you can move walls. But apparently, you can't do that in PvP good to know um 
Um, okay, so I'm going to continue uh, doing this. I'm going to put one more door, build out the rest of that. And then uh, I'm going to expand my uh, base just a little bit. I'm trying to give myself a little bit of protection before I log off. I also do need to upgrade my uh, my uh, my um, land claim because the way it works is this game will your land claim will expire if you don't log on after a certain point, which reminds me I do have to log into my main game to make sure it doesn't expire. But um, you do have to log into it, uh, you know, periodically or else things expire. I mean, that's like because you know people are playing on the demo and they don't want you know the uh, land claims to just take up all the space. So like I get why they do it. Oh well, yeah, kind of coming back to what I was saying before, like, there's some elements in this game that I've been looking at that I'm like, you know, there are some things that are similar to what I was thinking about doing, and, you know, I've been thinking about building another game for a couple of years now, and, uh, oh, looks like my character's starting to starve again. And, um, oh, crap, my axe broke at the same time, of course. I wonder how much stuff that guy stole from me. The one that was in my base before. You know, he stole something. I don't know what it is, but guarantee it. Let's just eat one of those just to get rid of that little warning there. Go ahead and... You know, why does everybody always just assume that it's dudes playing? Like, oh my God. Incels. I almost said another word, but, you know. <laughs> I think you can probably figure out what I was going to say. Let's just go ahead and eat these because unfortunately they're go Oh, crap. That made me nauseous. <gasps> Wait, why did it do that? Wait, why did it do that? Um, Crap, I don't know why it did that. I... Huh. That's really weird. All right, well, let's go ahead and create our primitive fridge because we... Uh, Oh, we need five of those. Uh, we're not going to be able... We're, the food's going to expire. But that's all right. I don't know why that made us nauseous. That was so stupid. Okay, so we can at least click this. that I'll get rid of that. Uh, I don't know why that made us nauseous. Those are making us nauseous. Why? Huh. That's really weird. Well, yeah. And you see, we can't make... Oh, wait, can we make the preserves yet? I think if we go into here, we can make... The, it's the jam. That's... Uh, okay. So let's go ahead and research this. Oh, it requires... Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get. Requires 100%. Oh, that's because I'm on tier 2. That's why. Oh. Up. All right, so I guess let's just go ahead and research all of this. And then we could go over to here. We can get that. Are we going to have enough points? We might. So let's at least try to make these really quickly before it expires. Because the good thing is that if you're able to make it before it expires, it resets the timer on it. And these are produced pretty quickly. So that's kind of a good thing. I just don't know why that made us nauseous. Well, we do have some food here that we can consume as soon as that's uh, complete. Pretty much thinking once... Um, See how long we've we been going for. We're going for almost two hours. So as soon as we get, uh, as soon as I get my base kind of like locked off a little bit more, and I get uh, my um, my plot upgraded, or the food shows up. So either of those two conditions, then that will be the end of tonight. Well, okay, it's not going to be the end of tonight. It'll just be the end of uh, the stream. <laughs> I hope it's not the end of tonight. Like, wow, <laughs> that's that's kind of abrupt. <laughs> I'm not ready for it. <laughs> but I guess you're never ready for it, but whatever. Um, I want to make sure this is consuming the right uh, materials. But yeah, you can see this is going to expire in uh, 
three minutes. I guess let's take the animal fat out. Make sure this has enough to produce all that, and that should be good. Let that continue going, and let's uh, let's build the rest of our walls. We're almost done. See when your character's kind of like nauseous, they're uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm wondering if you could just walk up and like steal people's crap right out of their thing if they haven't uh, properly uh, protected themselves. I'm wondering what if that's what that guy did. I wonder if they just kind of came in and stole a bunch of crap from me. Um, it's fine if they did. It's kind of my fault. It's, you know, whatever. I guess we could do this to get rid of that. Good. And then we can just consume these. Why did that make us nauseous again? That's weird. I guess if you eat food too quickly, it makes you nauseous? Huh. Well, that's uh, unexpected. I wonder if that's normal. Well, the good thing is we can go ahead and create some of these. They do have a, uh, wait, do these? I don't remember if these expire or not. Yeah, they do have a, a cooldown or a spoil time. Okay, so let's see if we can make some more containers because we need some more water. Then we definitely need to put some more sand and uh, sand and ash in there. There we go. All right, did we finish building our walls? I can't remember. Uh, let's see, we need some ash in there. Oh, wait. We're building it in the other one, that's right. Oh wait, no, it was this one. Okay, there's some ash. Go ahead and apply. Let's see, do we have any more sand and ash? Yeah, you could definitely tell some people definitely rated some things. Because this one's a little more organized than that. Okay, I guess we don't have any more. We need more sand and ash really badly. Oh, actually, let's put that ash back into it. I don't know if we'll be able to have enough to create all the what we need. Luckily, it's only two sand and two ash to make one of these what we need. Yeah, actually, we only need... Um, yeah, actually, if we build one more of these, that'll be good. Cool. Now we can actually build our storage, which is the primitive fridge. Basically what the primitive fridge does is it allows the items to last a little bit longer, as long as they're inside of it. But eventually you could build some things that makes it last a little bit longer. So you can see that like these expire in two minutes, pop them in there and it's now 13 minutes. Uh, so it just extends them a little bit. Um, do we have enough sugar? Uh, I think we have enough sugar that we can change the recipe on that really fast. Oh wait, I think these are going to expire if we leave them out. So actually, let's put those back in the fridge. Yeah, we should have done this a little bit sooner, but whatever. Um, but yeah, these are going to... Uh, actually, let's put these in the fridge. we go. Gonna let that jam finish uh, jamming. Jamming, jamming. Then we'll be able to get a uh, another completionist for that. We should at least. Yep, there we go. Completionist, completionist, completionist. Oh, it says that we are nauseous, so we can't get a completionist for that one yet. Uh, we need more of that, so let's grab another stack of that. Put it in there. Expired seven minutes. It's okay. Is that enough? What? I have enough. Wait, why is it saying that I don't... Oh, because we need more sugar. That's what it is. Do we have more sugar? No, that's all we got. Alright, so I guess we'll have to go get some more sugar in order to finish that up. So let's take this out. 
put these in the fridge. And we'll put some of these other things in the fridge just to try to preserve them as long as we can. And we can't consume that just yet. I am not going for that, <laughs> that thing this time. I'm not falling into that trap again. And we do have to finish building our, or we have finished building our first set of walls. But let's see, what do we need for our, okay, we have our tier two. Uh, let's see, what do we need for this? Oh yeah, so this wall will start decaying uh, in four days, 16 hours. It's got to visit every four days, but on a PVP server, if you're not, you know, visiting it that often, you're losing everything, so. <laughs> All right, let's just create as much wood as we can out of that. Because when we return, we are going to start working on... There we go. Successfully upgraded. Awesome. We'll just leave it at that. Just chatting with some people here. I got a friend of mine who made a crap load of money investing in um in crypto. Dude, start off with a thousand dollars. Like, three or four years ago, he's up to, like, 50, well, I'm not going to say how much, but he's up to a lot of money, like, $50,000, I guess it doesn't really matter. You don't know who he is, but. Uh, whatever. Anyway, done chatting with them. All right, so um, we need to go get some, um, we need to go get some more sugar. Um, we need to build some more of those walls, too. So let's see, what, what do we need to build stone walls? Stone walls, we need a lot of clay, and we need stone. What a shock about those things. Uh, so let's see, we have our stone. Uh, I think that they jacked our clay, because I don't see our clay anymore. Yeah, they stole our clay. Um, whatever. Ah, luckily there's some clay right here. And we can, uh, yeah, as soon as we get a little bit of stone, we can start on that. Yeah, okay, so we upgraded our plot. We got the, the basic part there, but we need to, um, yeah. All right, so let's see, we can, walls are, Jesus. They take a lot of resources. Oh my god. And that's just to build one small section of it, too. Like, watch, this is going to be one small section. And then now I got to go get even more just to build one more part. Like, look, that, that was just enough for one little tiny piece. So it's probably going to take me like a good couple hours to get enough. Oh, wait, actually, I got a lot of stone inside my base. Let's go grab that. So we can try to get past that guy. Yes, we could. Excellent. I didn't know that people can like loot your stuff in this. That's um, that's kind of interesting. Um, you know, I used to play um, World of Warcraft. Or no, sorry, EverQuest. Oh my God, not World of Warcraft. EverQuest on one of the PvP servers. Quest. Oh my God, not World of Warcraft. EverQuest on one of the PvP servers that um. One of them I played on, you can loot one item off somebody, except for a couple, like, items that you just couldn't. Um, those are, like, raid items and that kind of stuff. And um, 
that was an interesting mechanic. And in one of the other games, you would get like points here. You would get this like coin. And uh, I think it's an interesting mechanic. Um, personally, I'm not a fan of being able to loot items off people because, um, I mean, in this game, you know, you basically have to go out and like, you know, get the materials for the items. So it's not as bad. But if you have to go to like a raid boss and, you know, it's a rare drop and that kind of stuff. And then somebody just jacks it from you. Uh, I, I just, it's just too much. That's just annoying. Um, okay, we got to build another axe because I kind of had mine broken before. I might have actually built too much of that. Oh, no, good, I didn't. Uh, and we don't have any torches because I think somebody stole a torch. I wonder if that guy stole my rubber too. I didn't really look. I don't know. They didn't take the rubber. Or maybe they did and I just got more. I don't remember. But yeah, I mean, uh, once that guy started flying up and uh, once I knew how long that hack was taking, it was just like, all right, well, this ain't happening. So whatever. I got it started for him, though. <laughs> I guess I should have just, like, hung out and watched, maybe. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, okay, yeah, so we still need a lot more clay, too. It's going to take a while to really kind of get this set up. Oh, let's see. Let's go ahead and create a torch. Be nice to have that. Probably only going to go for another like five, ten minutes because uh, my food's going to be arriving soon. And I'm um, going to want to be able to, uh, eh, I don't know if I'm going to work on this much more, to be honest with you. Eh, maybe I'll tool around with it a little bit. I mean, I do got some... Uh, got some crypto things that I need to deal with so uh, I'll probably be busy with that but like whatever I'm just going to try to see if we can get some sugar let's see how far away was it? so sugar typically is right around where the water is but I got to go all the way down here for it. or I can go up there but like there was definitely some people up there that were not exactly pleased with me being there well that was because there was an event but whatever <laughs> that area seemed like it was a little more active so Let's see, got one more of these that I can do. Cool. Got to visit each one of the biodomes. That's actually not that hard. Just going to have to explore around a little bit. Oops. Oh, yeah, so I think this, uh, you could probably see it on the mini-map. There is, uh, I'm just curious what they're talking about. Yeah, whatever. They're mentioning uh, Rim Worlds. So I'm just kind of curious. I mean, there's some aspects that remind me of Rim World, but it's not... It's not Rimworld. Uh, so yeah, so th some of these areas, like you can see like this little brown spot there, that's just basically indicating that um, that's usually where you can find mines, that's where you can find um, uh, clay, you can find some things like that. Uh, let's see here, just trying to head down to where that is. I'm just kind of curious. Now I can interact with this stuff. I'm just going to steal all this because, yeah, if I can. Hey, I had things stolen from me, so I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Pick up some sand, why not? Oh, how are we doing? Oh, we have armor. Okay, good. Yeah, if somebody comes along and attacks us, they'll probably kill us, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Just curious. I was looking to see if there's a land plot here, but there was not, so... Here's some sugar. Excellent. Get a little bit of this. And we're just going to take a quick little prospecting skill discovered. Nice. Okay, you can see it took a little bit of damage from that. How those are, how all of them are doing with that meteorite. All right, you know what? I think I'm getting a little bit, uh, oops. Okay, this is one thing you got to keep an eye out for um, before I kind of end things. Um, 
Actually, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to take a little kind of trip around. We'll finish up this. Finish up looting through here. And then we'll kind of have... I think we're probably good on sand, so I'm going to kind of skip the sand for right now. Take a little trip through here. We're going to grab some of the sugar. I'm going to go back and make some of those berries and stuff before those things expire. And then uh, take a quick look at the... Um, take a quick look at my base and kind of see where things are at and then uh, kind of go from there. I don't know if we're going to continue playing this game on the stream. I don't know yet. Uh, I'm very curious and interested on your feedback on that. So if you do like this game and you'd like to see me continue playing this game, please let me know. And uh, leave a comment, you know, whatever. Um, as a reminder, I will not be streaming on Saturday. I normally stream every... Wednesday and Saturday at 7 p.m. Pacific time, not specific time. <laughs> that joke never gets old. Um, but Saturday I will not be streaming because I have my dental surgery. If you're ever interested in what my schedule is, please check Twitch and, uh, and YouTube. I always have my schedule usually posted a couple of days in advance, but I'll be honest, recently, like today, I kind of forgot to update my schedule and I had to do it like an hour beforehand, which probably explains why there was much nobody on today <laughs> um you know whatever it, it doesn't matter i'm still i'm having fun doing this um but yeah so um i will not i we'll see what happens on next wednesday um but yeah i should have my schedule posted probably monday or so on what game i'll be playing next week uh maybe we'll be playing on the pve server to kind of give everybody a little bit of an idea of what's going on in this game when you get up to a little bit higher levels because obviously doing it on a pvp server Streaming on a PvP server has a lot of risks associated with it. People finding out that you're streaming, they're going to come mess with you because they want to be on the stream doing that. Um, you know, so, I, I don't know. I mean, we could do a delayed stream, but either way, people are going to kind of have an idea of whether it, I'm in my base or not. So, you know, I don't know. We'll kind of see what happens. Uh, and I'm also going to keep an eye on the analytics because, you know, if nobody comes to watch this at all, that might help, uh, you know, change my mind a little bit on what I want to do. Yeah, see, that's one thing that's annoying. You can't create walls when there's creatures nearby. So I'm going to have to kill him and get rid of him at some point. Oh, yeah, I want to use up my sugar. So let's just build one more of these walls, which I think will be the end of it. See, we got a little bit of building skill, and I think that with the building skill, we... Yeah, it's a little bit faster each time when you get a uh, building skill upgrade. Oh, we didn't have enough clay, unfortunately. Yeah, clay is kind of hard to come by. There are some areas that you can get clay, like they'll, they'll be like clay mines, essentially. But uh, yeah, it's going to take a little while to kind of build this thing up. So let's get, let's take this one first, and then we'll rush over here. Put it in there, and then where's our sugar? Kind of drop it in there, good. This has three minutes left on it, so it should be enough time to produce uh, two of those. Just drop a little bit of twigs in there. Also, part of my test I'm gonna be doing is uh, kind of leaving things as is and seeing, I mean, you know, by the time I go eat and stuff, I don't know how much I'll be playing anymore tonight. I got some things I need to do with my cheetah coin. <laughs> set up um i gotta move some data around and kind of switch this out from being raid zero because that has definitely caused some <laughs> issues uh but that kind of works out because you know what i'll just put the other draw uh, other uh nvme on a completely different computer and i will just use that that way instead of having one computer you know mining to um to two different uh or to two different nvmes maybe what i'll do is i'll have two different computers mining to two different nvmes and be a little bit more stable than what I've been dealing with because seriously like three times today I had to do this it's getting kind of annoying <laughs> or was it two times today I don't know it, it happened a couple times and it's getting annoying and you know I, I've I basically lost a lot of time on it and you know it's learning it's a new thing it's, it's how it goes cool so we are now finally uh, saved up on or good on our food so when you another cool thing about the collector is that you can just click drink and then just drink some water directly out of it and it will drink as much as you can until it kind of fills up but yeah so i think that's that's going to be it i think we're going to call it here um 
I will keep everybody posted on what's going to be the next game. You know, just keep an eye on the uh, the schedule, and you will know what I will be doing next. And um, yeah, so thank you everybody who is watching. Um, and if you're not watching, you should be watching. And if you're not watching, I don't know how I'm talking to you because that would make no sense. <laughs> Anyway, okay, let's switch it over back to here so you can see me again. Hey. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, stopping by? I don't know, whatever. And uh, I will see you all next Wednesday at 7 p.m. Pacific time. Please keep an eye on Twitch to let for the... Oh, my order is out for delivery, so perfect timing. Um, but yeah, so um, please like, subscribe, share it around if you can. I greatly appreciate it. I'm getting really close to being able to have enough users on YouTube to get my name finally, my custom name. I'm only 22 away. I've had a lot of people like, oh yeah, why don't you just buy some people? Uh, no, not going to do that. No way in hell. Um, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much, and I will see you next week. Bye, my unicorns. Bye. God, I went to the wrong one again. Ugh, I don't know why this keeps happening. Like, I'm so, I'm so done with OBS or Streamlabs. I need to switch to OBS, maybe. Bye. Oh my God, I did it again. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Let's try this again. Bye.